Hi guys, going back in time gaming, back again, and it's a new game. Ratchet and Clank. Going back to 2002, November to be precise. The first game was released in the UK, I believe. This game holds a lot of special places in my heart. The amount of playthroughs and times I played this game, I'm gonna have to overwrite one, aren't I? Wow. Um, we'll overwrite that one, shall we? Yes, I do. As you can see, just as the first Jack and Daxter, the amount of times I've played it. Safe and bleak, fantastic. So this is the first of the original trilogy. One of the greatest games ever made. Let's get the cutscene there. Yeah, I thought I'd try and mix things up a bit. We've gone from platformer to zombie to platformer. Alright. So this is Ratchet's hometown planet. We are here to offer you advice during your interplanetary Gadgetron. The help desk is so these are the units of currency used to buy gadgets and weapons and whatnot in the game. They're a lot harder to come by. You seem to earn a lot more in the second and third games. Goodbye. So his main thing that you can use is a wrench. Also you get guns. A bomb glove. And I think it's a blaster. No, just a bomb glove for now. I may do a 100% playthrough of this, or I may just get to the end. Just depends how it's going when I get to the end of it. I reckon it'll probably just be a quick run through on this one. As this is a lot harder to get 100% on. The main problem with that being that you need a lot of bolts, and it takes a long time to recruit a lot of bolts. And I'll show you that later on in the playthrough as to why. That's a particular gun which some of you may be familiar with that costs a million. And a million on this is very hard to come by. Wow, we've started off fantastically well already. Oh, okay. So we're actually on our way at the moment to go and save Clank. That's Goodbye. So Clank is our partner in crime. He is the Daxter to Jack. Although Clank, I hate to say this, is obviously a lot more useful than Daxter. Both as comedic as each other. best thing about this game, same as Jack and Daxter, it's not just obviously going through. You have to collect platinum bolts, or is it gold bolts? And I think it's gold bolts on this one. So you collect gold bolts, collect all your gadgets and weapons. Mm -hmm. They're going to shoot each other for me, that makes my life a lot easier. No, you're just going to run away from me, Wolf. Congratulations. I don't actually think there's any gold bolts on this one. I think you come back to this level at the end. I'm going to collect these before I go there. Every bolt counts. So yeah, I'm now on my third playthrough already. I can't believe it. Hopefully you've enjoyed some of them so far. This one has been one I've been looking forward to. Hello. I'm just going to forward most of these, to be honest, just to save time. The thing I love about most of my favourite games is that they all had sequels. 
So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Oh, well, Hang fantastic. On. So, you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers began. Oh, goodbye. That, well, I'm surprised they survived. So this is Planet Novelis. Novelis? I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyway, so these are vendors at the start of each thing. We get to buy new guns. I currently don't have enough to buy that yet. Replenish your ammo, that sort of thing. Once you go through for a second time as well. If you've got any of your gold bolts that you collect, which obviously are harder to find. Um, you can then turn your weapons into gold. So a gold bomb glove. I'm going to start off just as bad as I have with everything else. So this one was actually redone on the PS4 this year, but there was just... I was considering doing that one, but for me, as much as I love the PS4 version, there was just too much that was left out. Some of my favourite planets on here weren't in the game. Oh yeah, it's up there, isn't it? So you have to just sort of do a little double. And I think this is our first gold bolt, if I'm not mistaken. It is. So there you go. You can have anything between one and three, I think, in one planet. Or one and four. Gold bolt acquired. I'm going to struggle to try and remember where most of these are. But yeah, like the, the PS4 version, great. Absolutely fantastic. One of the best games for me on PS4 at the moment. However, I just think it was just a teeny bit too short. I mean, it was a good price. You didn't pay over the odds for it. But there was just, you know, the real nostalgic fans out there. There was a lot missing. One of the things I love about these games is the arena levels. Where you're, you have loads of different challenges, like destroy a certain amount of enemies. You can use certain weapons, cycling weapons, time challenges. Those are my favourite ones, and that was missing. However, I hope that I'm sure they'll get it right in the next one. Not to say there was a lot wrong. It was still good. Now, where are we? We're going this way. I know I've said this a lot with some of my other games I've played, but just even this one as well. Like. 14 years old. Scary. Now I have no idea where I'm going up there, aren't I? I used to fall off when I used to play this. Oh, plumber's crack. Blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I <laughs> said, look, the plumber's back. Oh, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape trains? Very underrated, escape the comedy in this game. News flash: giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socio-economic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. These are info bots. Coordinates to a desert planet. Give us An info coordinates to our next planet. Yeah, 500. That's quite cheap, actually. I'm sure we'll be seeing him again. Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Mayday, mayday! This is the solar ship radical. Ah, Skid McMarks. 
from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close. Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Well, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long! Kid, let's am scream! Oh my god, here it comes. Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like Captain Quark, a friend, a foe, and a friend. Gadgetron infobots give you coordinates for new planets. So we could technically go to the next planet, but we've still got a little bit to do on this one first. Need a ship to get there. Exactly, we need a ship. Guess we better slide down the sewer pipe. Quite easy to see how this game went platinum. I mean, when you look for its time, pretty awesome. We'll go this way first. I think. And then we'll go towards and get on it. Well, try and get a ship. I'm interested to know everyone's thoughts on this game, what their favourite planets were. I'll mention mine when we get to it, for the silly reasons that they are. Some are to do with the music, I do love some of the music in this game. Some are to do with the overall just playability. And fun. I should start using my guns really, shouldn't I? Or should I say gun? Oh god, almost. Swimming. I'm going to have to be quick. I've slightly misjudged this. Wow, that was quite lucky. I think around here there's another gold bolt as well. In just a moment. I think it's behind that wall. No, oh, it is. Memory's not too bad. Some of them break, some of them don't. Well, that's two. If my memory serves me correctly, the other one we can't get yet. Swimming. Wow. And that's it. Hmm, fair enough. Well, guys, that's my little introduction first part to Ratchet and Clank, so hopefully you haven't found it too long-winded. But we'll get right back into it, we'll go and get our ship in the next part and we'll make our way to Iridia. So thanks for checking it out, and as always I will catch you in just a bit. <laughs>